In a year and a half, Chelsea managed to turn from Champions League winners into some sort of a meme. Todd Boyley has been playing football manager for so long, even the most passionate Blues supporters will not be able to name all footballers their club recruited in the last two transfer windows. No wonder one of these signings went unnoticed by most fans. Hi everyone! Today we are gonna tell you about the main sensation of the year in South America, Kendry Pius, who has already earned himself a contract with Chelsea. We are all used to the fact that the South American football market is mostly associated with Brazil, Argentina and Uruguay. Even the greatest Colombian talents of recent years, Radamel Falcao and James Rodriguez, came to Europe from Argentine clubs. However, there are two players who are gonna break that stereotype. The first is Moises Caicedo. Well, everyone already knows the story of the most expensive player in the history of the Premier League. The lad got a chance at Brighton Hove Albion after a successful spell at Ecuador's Independiente del Valle, played on loan for Belgian K. Beerscott VA, and then joined Chelsea this summer for 116 million euros. Thanks to Caicedo, Independiente del Valle was closely followed by European football representatives, and it was there that Chelsea found a new gem, attacking midfielder Kendry Pais. The boy is only 16 years old, but he has already overcome a rather difficult path. Paez was born in Guayaquil, Ecuador's second largest city. He was not needed by the city's biggest club, Barcelona SC, thus he tried himself at another giant his hometown had to offer, C.S. Amalek. And as soon as the Blue Ballet stopped counting on him, he moved to the third club from Guayaquil named C.S. Patria. Many youngsters would have given up after so many struggles, but not Pius. In 2018, when he was only 11 years old, Kendry and his parents made a difficult decision. Independiente del Valle officials approached him with an offer, though it was not that easy to agree to it, since the club is located in the city of San Gulqui, which is 260 kilometers from Pius' native home. I would have thought then that by February 2023, at the age of 15, Pais will make his debut for the first team of one of the country's strongest clubs. Kendry's accomplishment did not come out of nowhere, as his remarkable display at the youth level had significantly helped the matter. Initially, he played a key role in the Copa Milo youth tournament in Chile and thus became popular among scouts of local top clubs. In the summer, Independiente del Valle U15 traveled to Salzburg for the prestigious Next Generation Trophy, where they knocked RB Leipzig and Inter out of the tournament and only suffered defeat against Melian Yilin Olympique in the final. Pais was one of the best performers of the tournament, and his goal against RB Leipzig was definitely one of its biggest highlights. As of now, Pais already has 22 appearances for the Independiente del Valle's first team with two netted goals and two delivered assists. Moreover, Pais scored the first goal in his debut game against Mushuk Rona SC. You see, rumors about Chelsea's interest in Pais began to emerge even then. However, the Premier League Goliaths couldn't finally decide whether to buy him or not. Luckily, all questions were removed at the U20 World Cup where Pais was also involved in action, despite his age. The prodigy played in all four matches for Ecuador, scoring a goal and making three assists. Believe it or not, but Kendry was an actual team leader against the backdrop of more mature partners. Subsequently, Chelsea acquired Pais for 21 million euros plus add-ons. With that said, he will play on loan for Independiente del Valle until the summer of 2025. The pensioners won the competition from Barcelona, Manchester United and Borussia Dortmund. The other day, Pais even made his debut for Ecuador's adult team. Check out how timely his debut turned out to be. The assist provided by a 16-year-old boy was the one that helped the tricolors net the winner against Uruguay in the second round of the 2026 World Cup qualifiers. As you might have guessed, Kendry has already set several records with such achievements. Pais is the youngest footballer in the entire history of Ecuador national team. He was only 16 years, 4 months and 8 days old when making his debut against Uruguay. 
The previous record belonged to Jorge Bolaños. 17 years, 3 months and 18 days. Who said it back in 1960? Kendry also became the second youngest player in the entire history of South American national teams. The record holder is the great Diego Maradona. 16 years, 3 months and 28 days. In the same clash against Uruguay, Pais became the youngest footballer in the history of qualifiers. Amazingly enough, despite making his debut at 15 years, 9 months and 21 days, Pais is not the youngest footballer in the history of Independiente del Valle. The record holder is former Atalanta player Brian Cabethas, who had 15 years, 8 months and 25 days. Still, Pais is the youngest goal scorer in the entire history of the Ecuador Championship. Pais also became the youngest goal scorer in the history of the U20 World Cup. He landed an accurate shot against Fiji at the age of 16 years and 22 days. The previous record was set by Bahraini footballer Mohamed Al Karas in 1987, who had 16 years, 1 month and 3 days. Besides, Pais has become the most expensive 16-year-old player in the history of the game. The previous record holder was Pietro Pellegri, for whom AS Monaco paid Genoa 20.9 million. Pais is a classic example of a versatile, modern attacking midfielder who is very similar in style to Bayern's young star Jamal Musiala. He has what it takes to grow into a high-profile performer. Speed, technique, timely decision-making. The audacity with which Kendry deals with opponents in the midfield is absolutely breathtaking. Most of the time, Pais just doesn't notice the pressing at all. For example, here's how he settled things out in this episode. Independiente del Valle head coach Martin Anselmi is very delighted with his prodigy's progress. It's not normal for a 15-year-old boy in the first division to have earned the respect of the soccer world in such a short time. He runs, recovers, interprets the game. He is very intelligent to play. When we ask him to get into a certain position to generate an advantage, he does it. All his movements are trained. He carries them out perfectly understands the game very well and is a guy who is very down-to-earth in all those ways. We would like to especially highlight Pais's incredible ability to build up attacks with long passes to his teammates. Kendry scans the space very quickly, sees the run-in and delivers an accurate cross to exactly where it's needed most. Not only that, Pais is also doing a great job at delivering the ball behind opponents near their box. Pius's dribbling and the skill of outrunning defenders is at such a high level that he can even carry the ball from the center of the pitch almost to the opponent's box. His goal against Argentina for Ecuador's U-17 perfectly showcases why Pius is so highly valued in the squad. Kendry is 173 centimeters tall now, but it's clear that he can grow a few more centimeters before reaching adulthood. Despite that, Kendry is well-developed physically, which makes him extremely difficult to beat in body-to-body -body duels. This was especially noticeable at the youth level, but even at the adult level, Pius is almost unstoppable by his rivals. Needless to say, the debut performance for the national team against Uruguay has become Pius's hallmark. The head coach gave him 70 minutes of playing time, during which the 16-year-old prodigy fully uncovered his impressive talent. In addition to the assist, Pais has 83% passing accuracy, one key pass, six accurate long balls out of eight, one goal chance created, five out of 11 duels won, one tackle and one interception. After the final whistle, it officially became clear that Kendry is ready to play for the first team. There is no doubt that we will see him in the next games. It's already obvious that along with Lamine Yamal, Pais is the most talented footballer in his age category. Fortunately, the team is not going to Chelsea right now, having the opportunity to gain some more experience in the local league, Copa Sudamericana or Copa Libertadores. This is a fairly high level, no worse than the EFL Championship, where Chelsea could have sent Kendry nevertheless. In order to gain experience of playing under pressure at the top level, Pais will be involved in the national team's fixtures. If Moises Caicedo makes himself a name at Chelsea's starting 11, 
It's quite possible that we can witness the most stellar Ecuadorian duo in football history very soon. After all, both of them are capable of showing their best there according to their potential. Paez possesses an incredible talent for the number one game, and we would really want it to be revealed at Stamford Bridge. And that's all for now, folks. Support us by leaving a like and subscribing. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.